Hi guys, how are you? This is Stars. Welcome back to our GH live stream room. So today I'm going to share with you for this kit, the G6402. For this kit, it's including four pieces of blue and six pieces of fascia and dipping powder. So actually I'm going to show you those six colors. The purple lix red and two red colors. For those colors, you could do this with the ombre nails and with the decals. So later we're going to show you this one. This ladylike style of our nails. So you just follow our tutorials later. And actually today we're going to use those kits. The deep powder accessories kit too. To help you to do the beautiful and perfect nails. And with this clear powder from this kit. So um, later we're going to show you how to make the nails. You just focus on our tutorial. So let's go. So go for another tutorial now. So now we're going to do the uh, preparation for the nails. We need to do the push back the critical. So push back the critical is the crystal part for you when you're doing your nails. Because um, when the critical will be lifting, will be let your powder nails lifting. So it must be pushed back. And now we're using the nipper to cut off any excess critical. It's really, really important because um, critical just like your enemy because uh, your powder nails will be easily lifting from the nails. So now we're going to use the file. For this file, you can find it from our deep powder or sex risk kit. And you could use them to do the shape, to shape your nail as your desired style. This one is a two size emery board. And actually you could use them to use for the NATO nails. When you're doing your nails before, you could use them. So now we need to shade the nails as you want. So today we are doing the oval shape, the, some kind of the round shape. So here is our uh, nail buffer. For the nail buffer, it used for to remove the natural nails oil from the nail plate, and actually it could help you to shade to smooth up your nail edge too. You can use you can find those uh, perfect nail toes from our deep powder accessories kit. So here's the brush to tear off any dust particle from your nail plate. Now we're going to use the bomb. Actually, we an another finger, another five nine fingers, or we already done all preparation. So we just need to use the bomb prepared to help to dry the nail bag to remove any oil from your nail plate. So here's our all the preparation. So we need to push back the cortical, cut off the cortical. And then to using the nail file, the emery board to help to shade the nail and using the buffer to remove the shy. And like the first step is using the bone. So now we're going to use the color. Here's the color we're using today. We, every time we roll the powder dress, just like that. So now now technician going to show you the colors. We need to roll the powder and open the end and using any stick or the nail tips to help you to stir the powder. Here are the three colors we're going to using for the design. So do all preparation is the keys. Did you remember how to do that? So now we're going to use in the base. For the base, you need to brush it evenly every time. Apply very thin layer on to your entire nails. Slowly from the middle left to the right. And dip into the powder. So actually, and tap off any excess powder. And turn to another color. And now using the base, apply the base to your entire nail from the middle, left, to the right. 
Every time brush evenly to keep it brush evenly, but do not let the base to get on your cuticle. And dip into the powder. Stay for a second and tear off. And using the brush to tear off any excess powder. For those two fingers, we're gonna to use the normal. We won't do the design of those two nails, but we will do another design for another three fingers with the ombre. So you normally for our powder, two to three coats is enough. We don't suggest to do more uh, coats like four times or for five times because then your nails will be very thick. But it depends on you if you like the color more strong. So now we are going to apply another layer on. And then dip into the color powder. Put your finger 45 degree angle every time and tie off. And using the brush to help you to tie off any excess. We repeat this step to another hand for those designs. So apply the base to your entire nail. So actually could, for our powder, we don't suggest if your nail are shocked, we don't suggest using the clear powder, but if you like, you could use them to strengthen your nails. To apply the base from the middle, the nail play from the middle left to the right and brush evenly trying to control the speed of your brush when you do the ap application so turn your finger 45 degree and dip into the powder tear off using this brush to help you to tear off any excess because you don't want your brush to get on too much powder for the second layer actually for our powder because it's the GH fast giant dipping powder the powder could be dried itself within 30 seconds so um, actually when the second layer is already dry actually you will find the brush will keep clean every time when you follow our tutorial here is the second coat we are going to apply the everything layer from the middle left to the right. And every time keep it very brush evenly. And then dip into the color powder. Tear off any excess. Using this brush to help you. For this kind of the dust remover brush, you can find it from our powder accessories kit too. Actually, some fans and uh, clients they knowing um, this already sold on Amazon. You just enter the Amazon.com and by searching GHD, you could find the deep powder accessories kit too. So now we're going to use the base for this finger. We need to apply the base very thin layer. You actually, if you're doing the ombre, you need to do this step very fast, as fast as you can. We're going to be using the old way to scoop the powder and to sprinkle the powder from the top. Because this G6402, the kit is with four pieces shimmer color. So actually, you can find the surface is kind of the bling. So we're using the two colors. For those two colors and after you could find, you could use another colors. You could choose another color from those six colors. You need to apply the base to your entire nail when you're doing your ombre nails. And then to scoop the powder from the chalk. Sprinkle the sprinkle the powder, and actually we today we are going to on the both side. We just half side and half side. Two color on the both half. 
So it comes off the ombre from the left to the right, not from the top to the bottom. And tail off any excess. We're gonna to apply the base again for another layer. Every time, just follow our tutorials. As you can see, our nail technician, they apply the base, very thin layer, but do not get too close to your cuticle. And screw the powder. You and this one actually thick layer. You just find if your first layer isn't perfect, you can fix it by this layer. We're going to use the base. And brush the base evenly from the middle left to the right. Do not get on your cuticle. Do not let the base to get on your cuticle. Because I think most of clients said that their, their powder will be easily lifting or cracking from the cuticle. Here's the important part when you apply the base. So we screw the powder and then sprinkle the powder from the left to the right or right to the left. So today we are going to using and design another ombre, not only from the top to the bottom. Now using the brush to tap up. So for another hand, we are going to repeat this step and to make the correspond designs when you do, do your full 10 fingers. So we need to apply the base. If you are first to watching our live stream, so now we are going to show you another again for, for this tutorial. Apply the base, then scoop the powder and sprinkle the powder from your nails. And actually, we gonna to do the ombre from the left to the right. And actually, for the nail edge, we kind of to leave some space because later we're gonna to do the to do some designs. You can screw the powder X you like. The the quantity, the volume, it depends on you. So every time, keep your um. Re relaxing so that uh, your nails, nail arts will be more perfect. So very thin layer to brush the base and then using the same way, using the nail tips. For this nail tips actually you can find it from our active powder accessories kit too. To scoop the powder from the top and tell off. So actually for our fashion and dipping powder, it will be so fast to stick on your nails. And now we're going to using another layer on to apply the base to your entire nail from the middle left to the right. And actually for the powder, for, for the powder it could be dry itself. So every time just scoop the powder and sprinkle the powder as soon as you can. So uh, if you want to make it more perfect, actually you could do more black text. But if you're the first to using this kit, you can easily to follow our tutorials too because our powder is super easy to apply. So this design is uh, super beautiful because I like them. It's just like the lady like super charming when the daily life. And it's super easy when you're DIY at home for these nail designs. So every time keep your brush flat, apply the base to your entire nail brush evenly and scoop the powder from the top and from the right. And another color, you re-scoop re the powder and sprinkle on the left side. We just create a design like that. And tell off. Please don't afraid um, to get on too much powder on your nails. Actually, you need to use the brush to help you to tear off any excess powder. For the final finger, this one we are going to using only one color. But it's also the ombre nails. But this one we are going to sprinkle the powder from the top. So we need to apply the base every time. Because where your base is, then your powder will stick with 
and screw the pad from the top. Just sprinkle like that. Leave some space, the clear space for your bottom. Do not to uh, apply too much. You cannot to sprinkle too much powder because this kind of design. Let's lie there ombre now from the top to the bottom. So screw the powder is very easy right? to by using the nail tips or if you have the critical pressure, you could use the critical pressure to help you to sprinkle the powder from the top and leave some clear space because later we are going to apply some sequins or the small glitter on. So just take off. Now we are going to use the base again for this nail. As you can see, for the nails, we just sprinkle the powder from the top. For the part near a little bit the nail edge, we didn't sprinkle any powder on because this kind of the design we yeah, like it looks more ladylike and fairy. So now we are going to apply the second coat to apply the base to your entire nail from the middle left to the right. And then scoop the powder, sprinkle on top. And tell off. Actually, you could screw the powder to any place you want because the base will stick it with this. You can fix it for this time. If you like it more thick and more stronger. So, using a powder, the, the dust remover brush to tell off. So, for the basic design we already done, we're gonna to using another things for this one is kind of the small glitter only the clear glitter just like the sequins you can add sequins as you like so now we're going to using the base again because some clients that ask us that's how to put more sequins or glitter on your nails i mean from other not from the powder so you just apply the base and using the brush to help you to tap. Tap, 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 just like that. You could tap it from the top to the bottom. Every time to tap, tap, tap slightly and then it will like the ombre is so natural. You can select any color to combine and actually you need to using the small legs sequence, the small legs glitter as you can because uh, you won't want your nails look so sharp. So we need to apply the base and apply by the brush the small sequence from the top. That's why I said uh, you do not need to apply too much on this finger and looks more natural just like the nails doing by the gel polish it looks so natural so now we're going to using the natural powder the clear powder from the deep powder accessories kit just like I showing you just now because for this natural powder it could use as the base powder and it could be used as the cover powder too. After the shimmer, actually when you buy in the shimmer color set, it's better when you, after the design, you need to use in the clear powder to help you to protect the nail design. Especially when you apply some sequins on your nails. We need to apply the very thin layer on. And we need to apply the base to the entire nail from the middle left to the right. And then dip into the powder, the clear powder. For this part, it helps you to protect the design, the nail design. So actually you could find this violet color 
the lavender color is so beautiful from this G six four zero two kit. For this kit, um, it's fit for all a all age, the girls and the ladies. And dip into the clear powder and tap off. Actually, you need to use the brush to help you every time to tap off any excess. Because we doing uh, two fingers of the design, so we need to repeat the step for this now. We need to apply the base everything layer. You could dip into the clear powder. Everything layer, or you could let the nail tip to scoop the powder to sprinkle on your nail plate. It's the same effect. But it's more easy, you could do it uh, when you dip into the powder. But remember, do not to apply too much base. Cannot uh, apply too thin, too thick of the base. Because um, the powder will be very thick. The powder nails will be very thick. You will feel uh, it's kind of heavy when you're doing after the, the nail design. So apply the base evenly and do not apply too much. And now we're going to apply the base to your entire nail from the middle left to the right. As our tutorial, as you can see, we need to put more focus on the critical part. Because don't uh, nervous when you're doing your own nails. Or you could let your friend to help you to do the nails. I, I think it's kind of the funny when you are sharing this powder kit with your friends. And naturally when you're doing on your own nails, you just um, apply thin layer, not too much, too much. So we need to do some clean now and then we're back. Because our powder it could be dried within 30 seconds, we do not need to apply any activator before you during the filing. So because we are now gonna to do the filing of your nails. Our clear powder is the fast giant dipping powder too. So you do not need to apply the activator to make it dry. Please, because this formula is the Nurex formula isn't same as uh, other brands on the market so focus on this one you just need to use the activator only one time before the top but now when you before the buffing and the filing do not use the activator here's the point so we need to do the filing and the buffing we need to um shape that and now sure you can find our nail gel every time i'm not technician they are using the nail machine we we will to do the filing from the critical part because it's kind of the important part if you find on um, your powder or nails cracking every time from the critical so um or two two to three days it will get, be cracking or chipping off so it's kind of important when you filing when you're doing on your critical area so from the now play first and to fire any place from on close to the critical part so because we do two hands we are gonna to do another hand now repeat the step using the machine or if you have the file you could use in the file to do so uh, we need to do the filing from the critical part So we need to file it every time, very, thin, very, very slightly and slowly if you are first to do the nails. So we are going to using this kind of the machine to help you to do the more perfect designs of your nails. So we need to apply that. Every time we need to filing just like that. For this 
for this um, ombre now is kind of the very easy to do when you at home when you first using our powder because our Jewish fashion and powder is kind of the super easy the simple way to use it so now we're going to use in the file using this file it helps you to do the refined shade with your artificial nails so actually for this nail file you can find it from our deep powder sex risk kit too it helps you to do the um, when you shave that and actually you can use them if you don't have the machine you don't have the nail drill but your nail play with the blumpy or any uneven place you can use this file to help you because um, you, you could um, you can focus on the shape of the file if the middle with the sponge so guys if you have a wadi powder accessories kit already if you have them already you will find there are, there are three files into the deep powder accessories kit one is the emery board using for the natural nails to shape your natural nails and another one is same shape with the emery board but it's more thicker the middle with the sponge and that one is using for the artificial nail when you're doing the nail art process so now we're going to using the nail buffer here's the another file the nail buffer it won't make your nail get shy but it could remove the, any oil from your natural nail and grinding the powder nails surface more evenly so now actually we are grinding the powder nail more evenly we need to um, shade that and using the nail buffer to help you to grinding the powder nail surface more evenly but let the surface more rough than when you apply the another things on then your nails looks more gorgeous So now we are going to using the nail buffer For this kind of the nail buffer you can find this from our uh, deep powder accessories kit too Every time when you are using the nail buffer you need to keep it, uh, using it slightly and slowly because um, you won't want to scratch your cuticle skin So um, actually we need to using the nail buffer just like that to brush it Every time you need to use the nail buffer from your nail play first and don't forget the critical put your nail buffer 45 degree angle and don't forget the nail edge because uh, after the artificial during the nail art process actually you need to smooth up your nail edge with refined shape so when you're doing this buffer you need to um, use it very slightly just like that after the buffing we are going to using the brush to tear off any dust particle from your nails So just like that actually if you're at home you could doing uh, going to do the washing you can washing your hands so if you find it uh, some place didn't didn't evenly you could find it again so just find it as your desire final finish look we're going to using the buffer now just like that We need to buffing every time with it. You can use actually for the buffer we got two sides. Then for the two heads we have different. One is the rounds 
round shape, another side is the square shape. If your nails are not this kind of the shape, you could turn to another side. So it depends on you. It's kind of the usual. We are gonna to buffering, grinding the nail powders more evenly. Buffing every time it helps you to get the more perfect nails. So actually after this design, we are going to show you how to do the marble designs by Blow's kit too for the G6402. For this kit, uh, actually you can find six pieces of our uh, uh, GH Fast Shine dipping powder colors. So we need to buffer like that. You need to buffer any nails. You cannot think uh, that nails is kind of the very evenly that you you leave it because um, the filing and buffing is kind of important to let the nails more stick with your nails. So um, when the star, we already show you how to do the preparation, like push back the critical, cut off any critical, and to loosen the buffer to remove any oil from your nail plate, the natural nails and using the nail file to shape the nails. So it's kind of the important to do all process. So now we're going to using the dust remover brush to help you to remove any dust particles from the nails. We need to do it like that every time. Actually, if you are at home, you could do it washing of your hand. Now using the length free wipe. This one is kind of important too because uh, if you don't have, you could use in the paper towel, but it must be link free to wipe off any dust particles from nail plates. We do many um, texts on the nails, so if you follow our tutorial for all steps, actually could help you to get more perfect nails and for them, these nails will be long lasting over two weeks. So now we're gonna to using the decals. For the nail art sticker, you could select any nail art sticker as you like, but this kind of the nail art sticker, the decals, we chosen for the flowers to fit for today's design. So you need to use the trickster to help you. We need to use the trickster to help you to pick it up and apply on your nails. We do it on the ombre nails. For the nail art sticker, it depends on the size you like. And actually you can buy all kind of the nail stickers from the Amazon. So uh, it's kind of the usage when you're doing your nail as at home. So it's super easy to apply actually. You're just using uh, the trickster to help you and to take it out. Actually for this kind of the nail art sticker, it's kind of the sticky. You just need to pick it, pick it out by using the trickster and apply on your nails. And put it on your nails as you like. You can select different sizes, all different colors. So today I think this nail design is picked for the white colors. And like your nails looks more gorgeous. You can select another trick, uh, the, the nail sticker too. We need to push it, apply it on your nails. Randomly, as you like for the projection. Actually, it depends on the on your nail shape too. So we need to repeat this step for another hand, for another fingers. We need to using the trickster to help you, and to put this stick on your nails. Actually, this kind of the sticker, 
uh, it's with the sticky surface already. It's easy to remove too. Please do not worry. So you need to do this kind of the nail art design on slowly ask your patient. So we need to apply it on perfectly as you like. So we need to we need to apply it on very thin. You need to use them the nail sticker to do that uh, very slightly. And for the nails, we are going to apply it on the nail sticker. When using, uh, we need to using the trickster to help you. to let the decals more stick with your nails. So as you can see, we need to pick it out as you like and to put it on. So every time you need to uh, using this kind of the sticker to help you. You need to do it very patiently as you like design. Using for the ombre now, it looks gorgeous. For the ombre now, as you can see, we're using the normal way to screw the powder by sprinkle on your nails. Now we're going to use the gummy gel to help to protect. You could buy the gummy gel from the Amazon too. By using the gummy gel and brush the gummy gel evenly. Because this color of the sticker is very light, so you won't feel um, the sticker will be out, outstanding on your nails. So. Actually, you, when you apply the gummy gel, you will need to brush it evenly from the top. And every time, just like that. You need to keep your designs perfect, but you need to do it slightly. For the gummy gel later, we are going to use the UV lamp for curing. Every time you just use the brush to help you. Actually, it's kind of the easy way. We need to brush it evenly from the top. And to apply this from the left to the right, like that. Because this kind of the gummy gel to help to protect them. You need to brush it very slightly and keep your nail surface flat. So we're going to do repeat this step for another two fingers too. Very um to apply the gummy gel, very thin layer to help you. It this this steps it help you to protect the nail design, just like the clear powder, at the cover to help you. So we need to brush it evenly like that. From the top to the bottom of your nails. And very thin layer because later we're going to pour to put the fingers to the UV lamp to help you for curing to make it more stable on your nails. Curing one minute. 
for killing one minute for the bell's hand. So for that, uh, it's just need the one minute for killing the time. So for overlord for their designs, actually, you can using the gummy jar to help you, or using the gel polish to help you. Actually, if you don't have the gummy gel, and because for the gummy gel, it will be more stable to help you to protect the nail design. So uh, it's kind of a useful way when you want the nail designs more longer, more durable, if you put the sticker on your nails. Because the sticker, um, sometimes it will be easy to chew off from your nails. But if you're using the gummy gel, it could help you to protect it more long time. So normally you could use the, the UV lamp to help you. So now we're going to using the gel polish. And for the gel polish, we are going to apply the the gel polish top coat, we need to apply it on your nails. For this way, for the gel top coat, it help you to finish the final design. For the gummy gel, it helps you to um, protect the sticker, won't be easy to treat off. But for the gel polish top coat, actually it helps to make the surface more shiny. Because uh, often, no matter how long times you for the curling, the gummy gel still will be a little bit uh, sticky on the surface. So for the gel polish, it helps you to, to protect all designs. So now we are going to using the UV lamp again for curling one minute. Actually for those, um, you could using any other things or from other brand to help you to protect the sticker. And actually for the small sequins, you could using the clear powder to help you to protect. Because we already to apply the small sequins from other hands, other fingers too. We are going to using that, that now by using the clear powder. As you can see, another finger by using the sequins to apply the sequence. So actually for the UV lamp, we need to cure for only one minute. After one minute, we're gonna to, um, release them. Okay, the time chin will be out, then your finger finish for both. So for other fingers, how we to do the handle? So now actually we are going to using the number two activator. We already do all buffing and filing. So now for those nails, we just need to using only one time for the buffing. So overall, as you can see, if your sequence or any sticker is a thing, uh, very, very light, you can using the, um, the deep glue system to help you to do all wax design. We need to using the activator for another three fingers. Because for the activator, it's making the top coat get shiny and get dry. So for our GH Fast Shine Dipping Powder, cannot using the activator too many times, you just use the only one time. Do not overuse our activator. So now we're going to use in the top. For the top, we're going to use in two times. We need to apply the top for the first layer to your entire nail. As you can see, we brush it evenly every time. From the middle, left, to the right. We every time to brush it evenly, then to keep your nail surface more glossy. So actually for the buffing and the filing, it helps you to make your nails look more gorgeous and glossy too, the nail surface. 
because the nail more evenly, the nail looks more smooth and glossy. So we need to apply it very thinly on the first time. And when you see that get matte, we are going to apply another layer on immediately because the surface half dries but still sticky. We cannot wait it totally dry and get back to apply another layer on. We need it half dry but still sticky. We need to apply another layer on. So if you found it some place you didn't apply, so apply it again. Do not worry. As you can see, we need to brush it evenly. And for the second layer, actually, it's much more than the first layer. The middle left to the right. So it actually, guys, you will find it super easy by using our GH Fashion Dipping Powder Kit and using those Decor Snail Art stickers to help you to do the design. So today's ombre with decals we are already done. Later we are going to show you another nails for the marble design. So for those we are already finished. Later you will find you could scan the QR code from the right side, the corner. You could after scan the QR code you could join our Facebook group team that you can find um, more information how to do this now and more tutorial how to do this now too. So actually we could uh, doing another design for you for the marble using those two colors and our uh, super wide the French wide by the G6401 kit and here's the dip tray. For the dip tray actually you can find our from our deep powder accessories kit too. We need to to pour some powder into our deep tray. This color is from our G6402. And using another color, this color is from our G6402. And for those two colors, we're gonna to pour the quantity as you like and mix some white powder. For the white powder, this is the super white French white powder. You can find this from our G6401, the French color kit. And then mix them randomly as you like. And actually for this kind of the marble, it's kind of the um, designs as you like. You can mix any color you want, just you like them colors. Because it's super easy when you're using the dip tray to help you. We're going to use in the nail tips to show you how to do the ombre nails. No, 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 do the marble nails by this way. We need to apply the base to your entire nail. But actually, if you're doing your marble designs on your own nails, you must be remember do all preparation. And then dip into the clear powder. This is not the white powder, this is the clear powder. The clear powder from the deep powder sex risk too. And then using the brush to help you to tell off. And now we're going to apply the base again. Very thin layer from the middle left to the right. We're going to apply the very thin layer and then to put your finger, actually if you're doing it on your own now, so you need to turn your fingers on, turn around and tap on the powder. You can move it as you like to make the marble designs more gorgeous. And tell off any excess using the brush to tell off. And naturally, we are going to, um, normally you could use it only one time. And then, by using the base, because then your marble design looks more natural, that you could 
apply the base again and tap on or screw the powder. It's better to screw the clear powder from the top because then your nails look more natural and won't feel too thick. And then using the brush to help you to tap off again. Wait around 30 seconds to let the surface totally dry. And actually for our powder, it could be dried within 30 seconds. We're going to use in the file to do the filing. If you have uh, the nail machine, you can use in the nail machine to help you. If you don't have one, you can use in the nail file to help you to file off any place you think that's bumpy or uneven. But actually, if you follow our steps, you'll find the nail surface is more evenly, won't have the problem of bumpy or clumpy. So, we're going to use in the nail buffer. Using the nail buffer, we're going to fire off uh, any place and actually you will grind in the powder nail surface more evenly. You will find from until now we didn't use the activator because our fast shine system, the powder could be dry itself no matter what temperature is in, in the room. Going to use a link free wipe to wipe off any dust particles from your nails. And now we are going to using the activator. Remember, every time you just need to brush the activator only one time. And using the top coat. By using the top, we are going to apply everything layer for the face. As you can see, if your nails are long, you can apply much more, but if your nails are sharp, do not apply too much top coat on your nails. When it half dry but still sticky, half dry but still sticky, we're going to apply it again for the second layer. For the second layer, actually, we need to apply it much more than the first layer. And then to wait it around one minute, then the nails will get dry. For around one minute, the, you you need to wait around one minute to show in the to let you show in the GH fashion dim powder drying spit. So, so guys, today um, we're sharing this one. This kit's for you, the G six four zero two. For this kit, actually, you can find this from our uh, Amazon.com by searching GHD. So, you can find those kits. So, um, today we already do the designs for the decals. The ombre nails designed by the decals. The ladylike design. And the marble nails of this one. Did you see that? So, it's super easy to use our deep powder kits and super easy to follow our tutorial. See you next time. Bye.